So we move up to the 92 kilogram division and this a contest between boxers from Togo and Uzbekistan. There is Kevin Prudence Gradjovi from Togo against the experienced figure of Laziz Mekmulajanov of Uzbekistan. The judges scoring this one hail from Azerbaijan, Korean Republic, Fiji, Algeria and Sweden. Mr. Leonid Panovic. Panovic of Latvia is our third man in the ring. As is Bek Mulajanov stopping Darius Oisnarovic of Lithuania in his first appearance. It was a victory over John Marvin of the Philippines on a 3-2 split from Ke for Kevin Kwadjovi of Togo. Forty-four boxers make up the men's 92 kilogram bracket. I'm tempted to call it heavyweight, but as we've been explaining, nomenclature is there is no there are no names assigned to the weight divisions in Olympic boxing following other Olympic weight making sports. So it's 92 kilogram action forthcoming at the round of 16 stage. So we're underway then. It's a contest in the 92 kilogram division, as previously known as heavyweight between boxers from Togo and Uzbekistan. The man wearing red, who has come out aggressively, is Kevin Kuadjovi from Togo. He competed in the French National Championships, where he's been quarter-finalist in the two most couple of recent editions, but took the French national title Ooh. in 2018 at 91 kilograms. His opponent operating out of the southpaw stance is one of the most experienced operators in the world, and that is Lazizbek Molojonov, bronze medalist from the most recent world championships. Uh, we commentated on Kevin Kwadjovi the other day, and he's a wonderful punch picker because he takes a hard southpaw left to the body, but look at where his hands are, and he seldom gets them back around his chin, and against an experienced operator like Molojonov, well, that open chin could well present an inviting target. And he has a tendency to put his chin up in the air when he lets his shots go as well. Kwadjovi. Make no mistake, well, his shots rendered inaccurate there, but invariably his straight shots are very accurate indeed. Relies on his reflexes. See, he's pulling his chin back as he's retreating. Molojanov will be downloading all of that. So too will the Uzbek coaches. He may well look to exploit chin that is being presented as an inviting target halfway through the opening round both boxers beyond range as they continue to feint each boxer looking for a backhand during that trade-off but again Kwadjovi really do fear for him the manner in which he keeps his chin up in the air and his hands around his pecs hands down chin up is often a bad combination in the sport of boxing and in the 92 kilogram heavyweight division well need me to tell you that boxers of this proficiency are capable of ending a contest with a single shot. Yeah, Molodonov is doing really well here, I think, establishing the jab, just trying to pick his, pick his punches right. I feel he's, he is waiting for uh, Kajobi's chin to come up in the air so he can clock him. And for a left hand to the body, Kajobi again, his hand in the on-guard position around his pecs. And you can see he's not tucking that chin down into his chest. Molojanov, again, he'll be just biding his time, biding his time. He won't want to go, go head hunting. Just almost lure Kuadjovi into a sense of security and comfortability. There the hands are up of Kuadjovi. And again, as he reached for that counter right hand, his chin remaining up in the air like a weather vane. I really like the way Molodonov is, is always in distance, he's always in range. You can't see his feet at the moment, but they're very close together. He's just ready to attack. So three minutes in the book, watch your Uzbekistan coach go to work with that saturated towel in a bid to keep his man cool. Unsurprisingly, Lazizbek Molodonov taking the first round unanimously, 10-9 for all five scoring judges. Stark contrast, Kurt Jovi remaining on his feet in between rounds. And again, there is a significant gap in experience here. Although Kevin Kwadjovi 
used to compete in World Series boxing for the French team. Faced off against Olympic medalist Clemente Russo and David Naika of New Zealand. So no stranger to the international scene. First saw him, Kuadjovi, at the Global Olympic Qualification event in Baku, where he lost against David Naika in the first preliminary round. Into the second round, then, Azizbek Mulajanov, the reigning world championship bronze medalist, here in his second attempt to qualify for the Olympic quota place, having been bested. Forced Kuajovi to become disorganized and then scored with a left. But in Hangzhou 2023 Asian Games, it was a quarter final finish against the marauding figure of Han Zhu Zhen. Andrew Zhen, inspired by a capacity crowd, summoned up energy from somewhere. A barrel of a heavyweight, short, thick set, and just kept on coming forwards, walking down Molojonov and edged him out. The quarter-final stage on a 4-1 split. Southpaw left not too far away. Well, I say not too far away. Check the chin of Kuadjovi and the referee diving in to issue an eight count. Kuadjovi indicating to the referee that he's OK with a nod and then gets his hands back to his on guard position, which is invariably around his chest. So he's backing straight up into the corner. And again, Molojanov now looking to bring that Southpaw backhand into play. More than half of the round to negotiate for Kuadjovi, who's becoming just a little bit disorganized here now. And Molojanov senses that. Look at him giving angles to Kuadjovi in a bid to set him up for that southpaw backhand that he went in search of once again. And he's just going from corner to corner here as a lead right hook. But then Kuadjovi firing back with a single of his own, and he's not protecting his chin, and these shots are clipping it consistently. A single standing count has already been issued. What Jovi needs to be care needs to be careful here. His, his chin's sky high in the air, and there's, there's no defence whatsoever. Jonov continuing to go in search of it with that southpaw backhand as Kued Jovi, when he gets himself out of the neutral corner, only re to retreat towards another corner once again. This is, could be well be a long 50 seconds for Kued Jovi to negotiate to make it back to his corner to get some recovery and receive some instruction. Mouth open now, could well be feeling the pace, and his defence is absolutely nowhere. And again, the chin continuing to rise up as he lets his hands go. And this, we're almost waiting for the shot to land. There's an example of the quick-fisted accuracy of Kued Jovi, but he's paying no, def no attention to the defensive side of the game. He tried to get his right glove up in position, but the shot was landed with su sufficient force to twist his chin anyway. And Kued Jovi, well, he's got 15 seconds to negotiate to make it back to the corner. Southpaw right jab, a la Larry Holmes, with he flicked out with the backhand. Mullajanov going to try to detonate a backhand before the bell. He doesn't do so. And Kued Jovi, well, he's made it through the second round, but it was a torrid round endured by the former French national champion. And you see 10 8 across the board in round number two. Those are the scorecards returned, not just because of the eight counts. They will have been significant factors in the 10-8 rounds being returned because there's no doubt that Lazizbek Molojanov was a clear winner of that second stanza. Yeah, he really was. Just got behind the jab. Ooh, right hand to the body. And the chin's in the, chin's in the air, the head's in the air. Just, it's there for the taking. But Again, it, look at that. He dis, disrupted the stance of Kued Jovi, that first southpaw left, and I'm not sure he ever recovered. There seemed to be quite a bemused look on his face for the remainder of the round. And even though his fighting desire will have remained intact, it just as though he looked as though he lost a little bit of, of control of his coordination. Has the 60-second interval been enough for his coordination to return to his full control? What sense will Lazizbek Molojanov have up in the boxing ring? Where Jovi coming out over the front foot to begin the <coughs> final round. Left hand to the body's a scoring shot from <coughs> Molojanov. No limit to the number of eight counts 
in men's Olympic star boxing. There's a limit of four in the women's side of the game. Jonov just checking his eyebrow to see whether that coming together resulted in an accidental, excuse me, resulted in a cut to the head clashed. Jonov reaching for the oh. southpaw left, but then got through with a jab. Now, I think that what? showboating has cost Jonov a standing count here. I think he was attempting to do what Billy Joe Saunders did against David Lemieux, look over the top rope as if to say, that shot you sent in my direction is somewhere out there and I'm here. But the showboating, the referee not hip to it. <laughs> And that's why Mullajonov has been issued with a standing count. There's a sharp southpaw left from Mullajonov. Southpaw left to the body scored by the World Championship bronze medalist. And Kujovi, well, he appears to have recovered, but again, the chin remaining high, and that's why it's clipped by a counter southpaw left. There's a sharp right jab. And again, this is how Kwajovi goes about his work as he takes another power driving, power driving southpaw left near the neutral corner. It's really unlikely that he would be able to change box with his hands up in this Olympic qualifier. You see he's gone from corner to corner and way was no standing count. I think both boxers were expecting it. Yes. That was a tremendous southpaw left that thoroughly checked the chin and punch resistance of Kevin Kwajovi but no standing count forthcoming. And perhaps by pausing, Kwajovi has been allowed to recover, but he's gone straight from the neutral corner over to the red corner. And it's becoming something of a survival mission now for the former French national champion. Well, a sort of punch picking has been perfect. The footwork, the foot position, he's always got his... his He's always got his lead leg on the outside of his opponent's foot, always keeping him in position. So you see, where Jovi went from the red corner to the neutral corner to the blue corner, and now he's back on the ropes on this red corner side of the ring. He's looking to use every space available in the canvas to remain away from Muller John And even though there was no standing count forthcoming, I think he was hurt by that southpaw backhand that checked him on his jaw. Going to make it through to the final belt, but I think there'll be little doubt about the victory in this contest. Lazizbek Mullajonov will be going through to the quarter-final stage in the men's 92-kilogram division. Again, in days of yore, this would have been referred to as the heavyweight division, but that no longer the case, as names have been removed from the numerical weight classes following the lead of other weight-making sports in the Olympic Games. I really like the way Mullajonov controlled the, the bout there using his using his footwork didn't really need to throw much he was always in always in fighting distance always on the razor's edge making his opponent worry think about oh is he gonna throw a shot and then and then just as his opponent switches off Molodjanov will throw, go in there with a jab a one-two catch his man off guard the So there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Lezizbek Mullajonov, prevailing over Kevin Kwajovi of Togo. He made it through to the final bell and wonderful to see that respect and sportsmanship between the two boxers. Kwajovi, while well, we said that he wasn't really paying much attention in terms of protecting his chin, and it was checked on a few, of a few occasions. A couple of standing counts in the second round. First standing, the, first, the shot that brought about the first standing count really did disrupt his balance. But he remained in there till the final bell, continued to compete. But the greater depth of experience under the belt of the reigning world championship bronze medalist that is where Lazizbek Mullajanov thought he had brought about a standing count in the final round, but the referee didn't issue one. Comfortable victory for Lazizbek Mullajanov. Kevin, Kevin Kwajovi. Well, if he's selected by Togo, an opportunity to qualify for the Olympics remains at the final global qualifier in Thailand, but he's been bested here at the round of 16 stage today by the current World Championship.